A thumb injury that required surgery kept Cam Whitmore from a seamless transition to his college career and had him miss the first seven games of the season. However, he's managed to show off a lot of what made him a consensus top five guy coming into the year. At a list of 6'7", 230, Cam's a physical freak to say the least, especially when you consider he won't turn 19 until after the draft. And while he's been trying to figure some things out and get acclimated to the lineup, games like he had against Xavier and Penn are impossible to ignore. Now in a draft full of physical and athletic outliers, Cam's name should probably still come up a little more than it does. At that size, he's just an absolute tank by any standard, and he's often used this frame and power to drive through and absorb contact from defenders to score at the bucket. He's got a pretty good first step, and he loves using that hop step to navigate tighter spaces. You match that with a high level of explosiveness, especially off two feet, you've got someone who is really tough for people to stop and could be an even bigger threat in the future. Time schools, Kansas, LSU, Illinois. Look at this kid go. Oh, boy. I mean, that's. Whitmore, back the other way. And it caused too much spin. Whitmore explodes. He's also made it happen off of cuts, particularly from the corner, but a few from the slot or just finding the open spaces. And if you watched him at any point prior to Villanova, you knew this ability to rise up and finish was a big part of who he is. He's one of those guys who'll make you get out of your seat or at least give you some type of reaction when you see him take off in the air or towards the bucket. And this trace here give him a really good base to work with in the future. Defensive adjustment, but it doesn't matter. Oh, good catch. Everything can There you go. Except that. Cats under pressure to continue to knock down those free throws. Whitmore. Oh, the Yakido. Bounce pass along the baseline. Whitmore. Freeze. He missed it. Oh, Whitmore. While they've been mostly flashes and it's not completely there yet, a lot of the stuff that he's done as a creator on the perimeter is where a lot of the high end appeal comes from with his game. He's loved getting to that step back, especially going left. He's shown impressive footwork and organization on some of those looks, especially coming off of the misdirection between the legs. He's even thrown a hard cross or two in there to create some real separation. There's just a lot of stuff there that you wouldn't ordinarily see from a guy his size or someone that kind of projects primarily to be more of a strength based type of guy. And He's also doing a lot of it from three-point range. He's currently still under 30% on the season, so that is definitely something to watch for going forward. However, the mechanics look pretty good. He shoots an easy ball, and if I had to bet, I'd say he gets into that 35% range by the end of the season. And hopefully over the course of this season, he'll get a few more catch and shoot and easier opportunities in the process. It's not really hard to get the picture. You combine this with his athleticism, the explosiveness and driving potential on the wing, and you've got something that should be a really enticing package four teams at the top of the lottery. I've also liked a lot of what he's done defensively. He's a good mover laterally, often cutting off driving lanes and getting in a good contest. Rarely has he been taken advantage of here and he's matched up with several different types of players and even when he does naturally allow a step or has a less than perfect closeout, he's managed to recover and stay in plays fairly well. I've also liked how he's defended both sides of the ball screen. I think he can still get better in terms of navigation on ball, but in terms of switching both onto the ball and onto the screener and back quickly without giving up an advantage, that's been highly impressive and a real asset within this Villanova system and obviously long term. While he hasn't been perfect as a team defender, he has offered some standout help side rotations at the rim that have directly helped stop the opponent from getting an easy bucket. And while they haven't resulted in blocks on the stat sheet every time, it's the type of stuff that you want to see just reading the play and not being stuck to his man. And athletically, he's got the gifts that make him dangerous in these type of situations. Being that size and with his strength level, he can also bang inside with more post-oriented players and match with the ability to move his feet out in space, he's got some real versatility. Right now, I think he fits best matching up with threes and fours and maybe some twos at the next level, but I think I'll be able to come to a stronger conclusion on that as we get further into his season. Look at this. Yeah, looks like last touch. I think he can still tighten some things up, cut out some of these avoidable fouls, just being too aggressive, and also some things in terms of help positioning and navigating screens off ball against a guy like Jordan Hawkins, who is one of the best. But other than that, it's hard to watch him and not see somebody who should at the very least be a solid defender at the next level, if not significantly better than that based on what he's shown so far.
Now going forward, you kind of just want to see him start to put everything together consistently and really be the guy for Villanova. And with him getting to start the last three games and playing more minutes and seemingly getting a longer leash than what he had earlier, I think we start to see him move in that direction. One of those areas you want to watch is just in some of his overall decision making, the turnovers and a little on the body control. There have been times he's done a little too much off the dribble or just been a little loose with it and has some unforced errors you want to see him clean up. I'm also curious to see what he does as a playmaker for others. I thought he had some high level flashes in the FIBA Americas last summer, but this is something that's going to be a work in progress for him. Can he make the right read when he draws two or three going full speed in the paint? Can he make that simple kick out to the corner coming off the slot and of course what do we think of some of the pick and roll reps that he gets is he a guy that you think you can rely on in those situations or at least get some of those opportunities it's tougher to gauge right now just because he's been working his way into the lineup and trying to fit in and everything but hopefully we'll see him moving in a positive direction regardless of if some of those passes actually result in assists or not I can't quite figure out if it's a shoe traction issue or something more significant but he slipped and fell multiple times when trying to decelerate again I don't know if it's just a shoe traction issue or if it's like something biomechanical that's causing it but it's definitely stood out to me when watching all of these games and those are some of the main things i'm watching for of course you also got to add in there how effective he is as a perimeter scorer and shooter that we talked about and also hopefully he gets to the free throw line a little bit more often given the usage he has and just given how physically dominant he can be as far as matchups go, the second one with UConn should be great. Andre Jackson is one of the best defenders in the nation, and he got the best of Cam a few times in that game, so you want to see them run that back. And then we already talked about Jordan Hawkins and the rest of the talent that they have there. Creighton's still interesting to me. They've got another matchup with Marquette. Xavier's a good team, but you know, other than that, the Big East isn't giving you a ton of big-time prospect matchups, but there should still be a lot of good competitive games and tests for him, and hopefully Villanova can turn their season around. I've had Cam Whitmore in the top five range for most of the season, and I think there's a strong possibility he stays there, but just proving it with the shooting, making better decisions, and giving more confidence to his abilities as that shot creator will keep him there firmly and maybe even have him competing for that third, fourth spot, depending on the team. Regardless, I think he's a premier talent in this class and should have a ton of suitors come draft season. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below some of your thoughts on Cam's game. Game and how you think he'll progress throughout this season. As always, I'm Keandre. This is Hoopin' Elect. Until next time, I'm out. I would say every day I get better. So uh, just keep healing my thumb, keep icing, just keep taking like my thumb seriously, and it'll let you get better. I mean, you know, Cam is an elite offensive player. Um, he's a, a, a talent. Um, so um, we all know that he can have nights like that.